Welcome back to In a Tiny Garden. Now, it's been quite a while, I realize, and I'm gonna get into why just at the end. Um, but first, I wanted to give some general garden updates. So I've been away from YouTube and social media quite a bit, but I, that doesn't mean I've been away from the tiny garden and the allotment. So we did get some footage and I will be putting it up soon. So including, like even back to the pea harvesting. So there's videos to come, um, but yes, I had to put it on hold, which I'll get to in a moment. So generally the beginning of summer towards the end of summer was actually, it was a really difficult year for growing in the UK, especially vegetables. The first thing I noticed was the amount of slugs that there were. So there were more slugs than I ever remember in the tiny garden. And then my years on the allotment more than ever. So a lot of the brassicas that I put out actually got completely hammered by slugs. So all those beautiful little seedlings that I chose, totally gone with the slugs. I did manage to do successional sowing, which was great, which meant that I had something ready to go out. So I do have brassicas growing and I actually have a beautiful calabrese ready for harvesting probably this week. Um, so that's great. So we still have things in the winter garden, but really a uh, combination of slugs and the blight meant that the harvests, harvests were way down. So that's not why I stopped filming though. I think it's really important that even if we have a bad year, it's something that we can kind of, you know, um, find solace in, if you will, that other gardeners are having trouble too. And I know that they did. So that's not why I stopped filming. Anyway, going back to the tomato blight, I do have a tomato harvesting video, but you'll see there's so many less tomatoes than I should have gotten because blight hit extremely early. So it was late blight, but come really early. Um, and so I tried to cut off as much as I could to save the plants and I did get a bit of a harvest, but yes, it was quite dismal. So lots of factors combined with the climate change as well um, meant that we just were slightly unprepared. So I do have footage to show you from that, but I just wanted not to, well, sort of to apologize because I, to myself as well, because I really wanted to do the weekly videos right up for a whole year um, and then bring you maybe some other slightly more casual content and that kind of thing in the garden and allotment um, and also beyond the tiny garden. So we continued filming some beyond the tiny garden sessions as well. I just haven't edited them um, and uploaded them yet. So the sort of life announcement bit now. Um, Yes, so I went through quite a stressful um, five years of uh, life, I suppose, because I was trying to conceive um, and it wasn't working. And in the end, the sort of fuller story is actually on my social media. I put up one post about it uh, on my Instagram last week. So if you want to know more, you can read there or you can ask me in the comments below. Um, but we ended up having to do IVF because I got a diagnosis uh, after a couple years of endometriosis. So it's stage four endometriosis that I have and it makes it incredibly difficult to get pregnant. Sometimes you can't and you need to do IVF. So um, after much consideration and we looked into adoption and everything and that's not been ruled out for hopefully number two, um, we did, tried IVF to see if it would work because the other thing about IVF is if you have endometriosis, it can in some cases lessen the symptoms of it. So that's what kind of pushed me to the decision to finally try uh, IVF after about four years trying uh, naturally, if you will. And um, so yes, so during that period, we needed to relax as much as possible and have as few stresses as, as I could um, because it just helps the process along. I know that people trying to conceive will be told numerous times by well-meaning friends and family to just relax. But at the start of an IVF, cycle, it really actually is important to kind of de-stress and, and, and try as best as you can in, in one of the most stressful times of your life to relax. So what I did was I tried to cut down on my to-do list and one of the things that I decided to give up was posting on social media um, for that 
sort of period and to make sure that this one worked. So um, yes, and then YouTube uploading and editing was stressing me a little bit. I was really enjoying it, but it was just another thing um, instead of just really chilling out in the evenings. So yeah, and um, my little announcement is that our last, um, well, our cycle of IVF, uh, it worked. So <laughs> I've just started my third trimester and yeah, we're very, very excited. Um, so the reason I'm letting you know is because I think there should be a bit more awareness out there for um, uh, women or people or couples struggling to conceive um, and also about endometriosis because um, I didn't have a diagnosis until they did an operation. It's really hard to, to know that that's the cause. Um, and it's actually a fairly common thing. Well, it's not super common, but um, it's something to be aware of. And so, yes, yeah, so I wanted to bring awareness to that. And also I, you know, during these five years, I've been wanting to talk about it on my social media, um, but I just knew that I couldn't handle any more sort of advice from, from well-meaning people on kind of how to get pregnant. So I had to keep it a secret until, um, until well, I was pretty sure that it was gonna be successful. So um, I still have a little ways to go, obviously, but um, I'm feeling very hopeful that we're gonna have a little baby in our lives quite soon. So that I hope doesn't impact my growing schedule too much this spring, but there is another little uh, twist to this story uh, that definitely will. Um, and that is that uh, we're actually getting a puppy <laughs> really soon. Um, and that was put into the works just before or just during uh, the time that we found out that we were pregnant this time. And we thought if it doesn't work out, we'll get the puppy. And it worked out and the puppies are here. And we thought, no, that's crazy. But we went to go visit them. Long story short, we're getting a puppy, uh, puppy in a couple weeks. So yes, I am going to be very busy and I won't be able to grow nearly as many seedlings as I did last year and the years before because I grow them on the floor next to the one sunny uh, door. So I'm gonna have to have them up on something so the puppy doesn't eat them. So I'm just gonna be really choosy with the varieties I, I grow and yeah, just try and um, juggle it all. So I'm really looking forward to it. And I've also got a little collaboration video coming up. So I hope you're gonna really enjoy that. And I wanted to get this out before then um, so that you knew kind of what was up and also uh, wondering why I'm wearing sort of such a big coat. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy and uh, thank you for sticking around if you're still here and watching this after all these months that I've been away. Um, so yeah, there's more content coming up and I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Thanks. And I'd also love to know how your growing year was, no matter where you are in the world. So drop me a comment below and let me know what went right, what went wrong. Did you have a war on slugs as well? And which, which is extra difficult when you're trying to garden organically. We ended up using nematodes, um, but it was a bit too late and the damage was kind of done by the time that we knew how bad they were gonna be. Anyway, did you get blight? Did you get early blight, late blight on your tomatoes, potatoes? How did it go? Um, I do would love to know and, and sort of chat to you in the comments. And also, if you wanted to reach out to me um, privately about any struggles you might be going through that you've heard in this story um, and you wanna know more, then my uh, DMs, my direct messages on Instagram at in a tiny gardener are always open. So you can um, check it out on there. And the post that has the story in it is the one where I'm clearly on a bump and there's a little, uh, the next one has a little picture of a robin in it. So the little picture of a robin has more of the full story. Um, anyway, yes, hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up and uh, yeah, happy growing. <laughs>